Hi guys, guys. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to True, True Grit Adventures. Adventures. Today we're about to go on this beautiful trail, but also in this video we are going to... We're going to share with you guys how we make money on the road. And there's a bunch of different things we do, and we're going to kind of break them down and uh, talk about what we've done and what we've seen other people do. So stay tuned and follow us for this hike. <laughs> first thing I could suggest if you guys want to work on the road is uh, small contracting gigs. So if you have construction experience or if you can paint or if you could do any of the trade skills, you can put an ad out on Craigslist of where you think you're going to be and then find jobs as you go. Another one, of course, is if you're good on the computer. So you can, again, post ads it's on Craigslist or Upwork or any of those sites and find work in your computer trade like coding or video editing photo things and honestly there's so much you can do uh, I forgot photography you could do weddings uh, you could do drone videos or uh, you could do YouTube videos for example, a few things that we have done, we've put out listings for Craigslist as handyman's jack of all trades because we are, we do a little bit of everything. We flipped homes for a few years back in Dallas, Texas. We've done construction. So we know a little bit about almost everything. So one of the gigs we've done was in New Mexico. We worked for a ranch and they needed a 50 foot chicken coop built for them. So we went out and quoted them and we built a 50 foot chicken coop for them. Um, another example is here in Arizona. We put out an ad and an older couple needed help putting some siding on the side of their trailer home. So we went out and helped them put siding up. It was pretty straightforward. It took us about three hours. And if you're impatient like we are, you can always go and try to find the jobs. So what we've tried to do is make a list of all the campgrounds in the area and then we call them and see if they need any help. Most of the time they don't, but sometimes they do. We actually found uh, the chicken coop job like that where they needed us out there to uh, help remodel their property. And another one we found was with this really nice lady named Deborah, and she had a piece of land that she was trying to sell so she needed us to go out there and help her with a few things. And yeah, if you guys don't want to wait to get a gig, you can always go out and find them. lookout point we're here we wanted to talk to you guys about other types of jobs you could get so you can get a w-2 job or a 1099 job with a company we got one with TurboTax where we were working on the computer and uh, traveling at the same time some companies don't like you to travel um, obviously make sure that you can or hopefully you're gonna keep in a secret <laughs> not telling them but yeah that's an option too and there's a lot of different jobs you can work online especially now sales jobs customer service uh consulting all that type of stuff by the way this is like our 10th time at the grand canyon yeah. we've been here so many times and i have the uh america the beautiful pass so we get in for free yeah so we just keep on coming back and it's so big that there are different viewpoints. Like, we've never seen this viewpoint before. Yeah, this one, you just take a hike to, and then you catch all this. I love the wildlife out here. There's uh, little birds, and some are black and white, and some are like a really beautiful purple. And there's also uh, little chipmunks everywhere, and a bunch of um, elk. 
we saw some the other day with big old horns. They were like, or not horns, but I don't know what you call them, but they're, they're elkness. <laughs> they're elkness. <laughs> what you doing? So somebody wants to go down this super sketchy part. He says, nature has provided steps for us, so we shall go. But it turned around and to let him look at it. It's on the edge of the cliff. Yeah, kind of can. He's telling me nature did not want us to go down here and experience it. That, that rock's slippery, by the way. Uh. Right there. Well, we check this out. Whoa! That's a cliff there. Uh. <laughs> and a cliff there. It's like a peninsula. Whoa! This is a beautiful shot with the clouds and and you. <laughs> Whoa! How did that happen? I'm telling you, nature wanted us to see this this display. get this butterfly yeah i want him to land on my stick so bad <laughs> or on my finger he's, he's so I beautiful a i got a rock stuck in my stick uh, we got this stick when we first started our adventure in texas yeah we got it in sam houston national forest oh man it's stuck it's dried up it was really moist because it's humid there so it was really moist when we got it, but it's super dry here, so it's cracked up. It should last a while though. But it's our special stick. So we're done with the hike. We're heading back now. It was beautiful and well worth it. Um, I think we're gonna stop by the little general store they have up here. Um, they are very touristly priced, so we're not gonna be shopping there. We're just gonna grab a few things that we need for tonight. And we've got a few friend neighbors that are parked next to our schoolie, so we may hang out with them tonight, but we'll see. Yeah. Last a puppy. <laughs> That's desert view. Also, want to go see the stars. This. So many coffee mugs. <laughs> Yeah, we could. We're trying to think of what we want to sell at Schooly Palooza if we go. It's in October in Utah. Hello. I want this pillow so much, I keep seeing it. It's so fluffy, it's all cotton. And he wants that blanket, but... It's $200. <laughs> it's 200 Good morning, Grit Squad. <laughs> We're back over here at the Grand Canyon. Yeah, it's, true gritters. <laughs> <laughs> it's not far from our uh, camping area, so it's easy to come up here, but they've got a lot of walking trails. So right now we're just walking on their little trails here. Um, 
I wanted to mention that London is in summer camp, so that's why you haven't been seeing him for today and yesterday's hike. There's a cute little summer camp here at the Grand Canyon, and he's having a lot of fun. Yeah, he's meeting new friends, and yep. they're doing activities. Today, they are going on a trip. Where are they going? They are going to like a IMAX movie theater to watch like the hidden secrets of the Grand Canyon. Yeah, and then next week they're going, it's like a ranger week. So they pretty much learn how to be a ranger yeah. and a ranger talks to them. So it's really cool. Yeah, cute little junior ranger week. I wish I could do it. I'm a little jealous. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so yeah. he is having fun and if you guys don't see him, that's why. Yeah, so we're going to do this hike and show you around the village. <laughs> you always have to say we're going to show you around. <laughs> so they've got a campground over there where you can do tent camping. They also have an RV park. And then over there is like their water fill up and laundry and showers if you need them. There are these cool trails that take you everywhere in the park. Yeah, you can go anywhere you need to just by walking here. Although it's a little bit of a walk, so I'd recommend a bike. But you could definitely walk anywhere yeah. you need to go. The trails are like throughout the forest too. So it's really cool. And the buildings are like hidden in between all the trees, which is really cool. Yeah. You go this way? Yeah. Um, yeah. So last time uh, we came down this trail, it was super beautiful. And <laughs> we turned around because we saw a moose. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, we're a little scared of the mooses. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they're nice and everything. Yeah, they don't act aggressive, but... Yeah, and they're probably used to people because the Grand Canyon gets... I wonder how many visitors they get. If you guys know, put it in the comments. A ton. They have people from all over. We hear all people speaking over. all kinds of languages here. It's, like, it's yeah. unreal. But anyway, we're gonna try to find that trail again because it's super pretty. And maybe we'll show you the moose if we see it again. They're yeah. just massive. They're so big. Oh, they're huge. Um, so we saw a moose the other day. Well, we saw multiple ones, but they had huge horns. And it's not in YouTube format, but if you could clip it in and show them, it would be super cool. What are you doing? So another way we make money on the road is by looking up different parks, like different uh, campgrounds, uh, state parks, national parks, things like that. And they're always hiring. It really depends on where you are. And there are a lot of websites that have them. A few of the websites we use is coolworks.com, workcamping.com, and there's some more, but I can't think of them right off the top of my head. You Delaware can also North. go to the uh, state's state park. <laughs> so, for example, we're going to head to California, and we're going to start looking for jobs now ahead of time. So we're going to go on the state park's website and see which campgrounds are hiring and just call them and apply for them there. So that's another way you can make money on the road. So for example, the jobs that we are getting right now are jobs in the Grand Canyon and we got those jobs on coolworks.com and it's pretty easy. You just go on there, look up the state you're in and apply for those. Um, you want to apply ahead of times because national parks and state parks do take a little bit of time to hire you. So I would say go two weeks in advance and start applying that way. So what day is today? Today is taco day. Taco day. Yay. We got some vegan ground uh it's taco tuesday well today's friday but it's taco, <laughs> friday. Yeah, taco friday so we got vegan taco meat we got cheese we got uh beans we're gonna put some rotel on it and some corn <laughs> and then we're gonna bake them so they get nice and soft because we don't really like them super crunchy or not not even crunchy they're just hard <laughs> i'm not really a taco fan but Sharif love tacos, so I end up eating them a lot. <laughs> I love tacos more than life, bro. <laughs> tacos are life. So oh, let's see what yeah. they taste like after. The beans were definitely supposed to be below the cheese, but, you know, we forgot, so. <laughs> we cheesed it up first. Are you questioning my taco building methods? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the cheese goes on top. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. The cheese goes on the meat. Dude. So you get cheesy meat. Yeah, but then you don't even beans, like tacos. How do you know? You have cheesy meat and beans. Whatever. All right. Well, let's see what they turn out. Hopefully, this converts her to a taco lover. Mm. Do you think it will? I've been eating tacos all my life, and I've never been a lover. <laughs> what do you think? All right, guys. Last night 
those tacos were a bust. Well, I thought they were good. Okay, well, he thought they were good, but I thought they were not not the best. But, I guess uh, I didn't convert her, guys. No, he did not convert me. I'm still not a taco lover. Uh, but we're gonna try to make it up tonight. We're gonna make some burgers on the grill. Um, we've got some neighbor friends over here. Um, it's actually really nice because they've got a kid that's London's age and they're about our age as well. Um, so it's been really nice hanging out with them. So we're gonna try to make some burgers to make up for those tacos. <laughs> so the burgers last night definitely made up for the tacos, at least for me anyway. I don't know for Sharif if they made up tacos better. <laughs> definitely better. the burgers were better. <laughs> the burgers were better. Yeah, the burgers were definitely better. Uh, but another thing we do on the road to make money is Facebook. Facebook is a really good resource. Um, you just go on there and you look up work camper jobs. Um, there's a lot of different groups for them and sometimes they can be difficult to find. So you just have to keep trying a bunch of different keywords until you find a really good group. Um, one group that I like is called Full-Time RV Work Camper. Um, I know it says it's for RVs, but schoolies are essentially the same thing. So you can find a lot on there. Um, the only downside to Facebook is that it's not state categorized. Like you have to go through the post until you see one in your state. Um, so that's the only downside to there, but there are a lot on there. And another really good one, um, it's very seasonal. Um, you can find them on Google. They are Harvest. So you got the Sugar Beet Harvest, which we haven't done any of these personally ourselves, but we want to start doing some of them. Um, the beet harvest is usually up north, uh, so it does get a little bit chilly when you do it, but they pay really, really well, so we've heard. Um, and you only have to work for a few weeks. Another is pumpkin patches. We're looking at one now in California and hoping that maybe we'll get that one. It's about, it lasts for about two months. Um, and another is like Christmas trees and stuff, working during the Christmas season. So that's another good way to make some quick cash. All right, and the last one we have for you guys is starting your own business. I know it can be kind of scary thinking, how am I gonna run a business, you know, living tiny on the road, but it is possible. There are ways and there are people doing that, doing it. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of different ways to do it and there are small things, ah, flies. There are small things that you could sell and keep in your bus or things that you can have someone else make for you and like drop shipping and do all the work for you. So that is another option. Um, I think that is all of the options we have for you. That was about seven of them and I'll go over them again real quick. Okay, so a quick recap of everything we went over. Um, one is looking on websites like Coolworks, uh, campers.com with a K. Um, there are a few other ones which I am going to have a detailed description down below. So with Coolworks is where we found the jobs at the Grand Canyon. They have a lot of national park and national forest jobs there um, all over the U.S. And then number two is gigs on Craigslist. Um, you just post whatever you want to get into, whatever you want to do. You just post that you do that. And of course, you want to talk to the person, let them know your skill sets and all that kind of stuff. That's where we found... Um, the farm job here in Arizona where we're helping a lady move some things around and clean some things up. And then it's also where we found our siding job where an older couple with a trailer just needed some help um, putting some more siding on their trailer. And so yeah, so that's all we've gotten on Craigslist so far. Number three is a 1099 or W-2 job. You guys already know where to find those. Indeed, you know, things like that. Just search for remote jobs. Um, we did TurboTax with them, which they only run for the season of taxes. So we did that from, I think it was December to May, I want to say. Um, and that was a 1099. Number four is if you don't want to wait around or if you just don't want to do anything online, um, you can just look up campgrounds, RV parks in your area and just call them. We have made a list of tons of phone numbers, three pages long, and just called and called and called until we got someone that needed help because some of the campgrounds may not want to list it online, you know, or it may be harder for you to find online. It's really just your preference. Sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. Um, that's where we found the chicken coop job at. We um, 
we just called them and they said they needed help and told us what they needed help with. Uh, we did a little FaceTime interview with them because we weren't quite in the area yet because you always want to start applying ahead of time where you're going to go. Um, so that's how we got the chicken coop job. And then number five is looking on Facebook. It can take some time. There's a lot of different groups. You, you know, you got to look at the state that the person is posting from. Um, so it does take more time that way, but a lot of people do get their jobs looking through Facebook groups. Um, number six is harvest, um, the sugar beet harvest. I'm sure if you're traveling and in whatever schoolie RV uh, van, you probably have heard about the sugar beet harvest. Um, they pay pretty well, so we've heard, and we've looked it up recently. Um, it's just a little bit too far north for us at this time, so we won't be doing it this year. Um, I know it's starting in, I think it said 81 days when I was looking at it a few days ago. So it's starting soon. If you guys are in that area, it's Minnesota, North Dakota, I think. That's where they're doing it. Um, and it's full hookups and all that. Another is pumpkin patches, which we're trying to get into in um, California. If we go toward that area, again, you wanna look ahead of time. So we may or may not be in that area, but we wanna make sure that we're applying to all of the areas that we could potentially be going. So pumpkin patch, and they run about two months and like Christmas tree stuff. Um, I haven't looked into that one too much, but I've seen people do it. Um, number seven is starting your own business. If you want to sell some little knickknacks within your business on Etsy or your own website or just in person, that'd be cool. Or if you want to just do drop shipping so you don't have to worry about inventory, that's another option as well. So yeah, so those are the ways that we go about getting income on the road. Our top goal, even though we're doing this, of course you need income on the road, our top goal is YouTube creating content. That is our number one thing and that is what we want to grow on the most and that's where we want to get our money. You know, of course YouTube takes time. We've only been doing it for two and a half months on YouTube and three months on other socials. So it's going to take time. So you got to work until you get there. Uh, but fingers crossed, everything's been going well so far. And as long as you stay tr true to yourself and work hard and stay consistent with posting you know you'll get there and that's with anything just stay consistent work hard and you'll get there just have faith um so yeah that's it for this week's video if you guys liked it give it a thumbs up drop your comments below i'll also be posting details down below so you guys can check those websites out and we'll see you next week oh don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already we'll see you next week bye